Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, September the 4th, the afternoon edition. I know I don't do it very uh, often, but here is a special afternoon edition to keep you up to date on what's happening around the area as a result of Lee. First thing we'll take a look at is our regional radar imagery. And you can see that uh, there is a good deal of rain across the southeastern U.S. all the way from the Gulf Coast up into Tennessee and Kentucky, all related to Lee. Lee is uh, now well ashore, but even though Lee is well ashore, Lee is actually uh, improving in its uh, presentation over the last uh, few hours even though the eye is over land and you can see that from the satellite imagery as well. Now temperatures are being held down across the southeastern U.S. because of the clouds and rain. As a matter of fact uh, you uh, across Alabama Mississippi and a good deal of the western half of Georgia. Temperatures generally in the 70s, ranging from 72 to about uh, 79 or so. Few spots where there's been a little bit more sun reaching into the lower 80s, but still for an early September day, these are quite nice temperatures. Now, there's a look at the overall tropical situation. And you can see that we have Katia out in the Atlantic and Lee over southeastern Louisiana. Here's a look at uh, the satellite image of Lee, a little closer look uh, centered on Lee. And here is the Hurricane Center's track, expected to remain a tropical storm for about the next uh, oh, 24 to 36 hours, then become extra tropical and become a depression as it moves up across uh, central and north Alabama. The uh, Katya, on the other hand, there's her presentation, and she certainly is looking very well organized. And there is the track, uh, not expected to impact the United States directly. That is, because it's going to stay offshore, it will impact it through uh, some um, uh, coastal flooding and possibly uh, wave action along the outer banks of North Carolina and possibly even South Carolina, and then up into uh, Chesapeake. Chesapeake uh, Bay and uh, the Mid-Atlantic states as it uh, heads back out to sea and expected to recurve. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, 06Z GFS model run. Pardon me. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about. The uh, 12Z GFS model run. And there's the position for now. And you can see a good deal of rain over the southeastern U.S. The trough coming across the north central part of the United States will not pick up uh, Lee. That will move by enough to actually force Lee to go a little bit east before then uh, traversing back uh, to the northeast. But in the meantime, that means that it pretty much stays around over uh, southeast Mississippi, southwest Alabama for the next uh, day or so. So a flash flood watch is in effect. The upper air presentation for uh, the 7th, which is Wednesday, shows uh, Lee or the remnants of Lee over northeastern Mississippi. And as a result, uh, we have the kind of a broad um, low pressure area over north central, uh, north and central Alabama. By, uh, uh, and I, I've got my dates off here. This is 0Z, so even though it's the 8th, it's actually still uh, the 7th, which is actually Wednesday. So the previous one was for Tuesday. You can see that the, the low is still staying in the vicinity of uh, Tennessee, kind of centered on Tennessee with lobes coming down into Alabama as well as up into uh, Kentucky and southeastern Missouri. And that will keep us uh, at least for showers, even though the bulk of the precipitation is over. And then we can see also Katia uh, approaching kind of the outer banks on uh, the uh, uh, eighth at uh, 7 p.m. We can see Katia getting a whole lot closer, and we've still got kind of precipitation over the Ohio River Valley uh, with maybe a few showers our way. On uh, the uh, ninth, we can see uh, Katia making the curve back into the North Atlantic, and then finally on the um, 10th at uh, 7 p.m. we can see Katya going out there but in the meantime we have another development now on the previous 06 uh, GFS that showed up but also ended up coming up into Alabama that's not where it's headed now at least according to the latest GFS uh, by the uh, 12th at uh, 7 p.m. it's showing it headed towards Brownsville so quite a big variation from uh, the previous uh, runs. Well, that'll do it for this special edition of the Weather Extreme video. I expect James Spann to be back in the saddle once again uh, tomorrow, although tomorrow is Labor Day, so I'm not sure if he's going to do, be doing a holiday schedule or not. But it certainly looks like for the next uh, 
at least uh, 24 to, to 48 hours, we're going to see a lot of rain across central Alabama. Flash flood watch is in effect through Tuesday afternoon, so just keep that in mind, whatever your activities are. Thanks for tuning in, and hope that you have a great evening and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.